Okay, this is another video flow brought that Jay and I have not yet seen. Mm -hmm. uh, based on the, do you know, do you know which one this is? Yes, I do. Okay, so are you ready? Yeah. Okay. Let's do it. That's Joey. Oh, she's lovely. She okay. also follows you on Instagram. <laughs> I'm flattered. It's really neat. It is genuinely really neat to, to connect with artists that way. Is it, is it too loud? Do you want to see how it's fine? Okay. Okay, okay. Well, maybe it's a bit loud. Thank you. All right. No, yeah. Okay. No, I need more volume, sorry. Okay. Hey, hey, when I've seen Joey before, was it in Cantonese? No. Yes? I think you've seen her in Cantonese, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. You know what, Flo? For me, this is maybe the best I've seen a cant when a singer singing in Cantonese. This is the most loose maybe I've heard a singer. Really? And the most for me, yeah, like not that a singer, a Cantonese singer's goal would be to sound Western, but well, maybe Western would be the wrong way to state it. This just sounds really loose to me. Mm. It sounds like she's using speechy, talky, yeah. relaxed tone with vibrato that doesn't seem overwrought or overthoughtful. It seems really loose. Huh. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying, Jay? Yeah, yeah, it makes sense. Like, I, it's neat. Mm -hmm. Yo! <laughs> That's yeah. a lot of tongue. It is a lot of tongue. Oh, she's huge. She's huge. Um, Joey? Joey is. Oh, yeah. Yeah. She's huge. She, yeah, she was number one uh, female singer in Hong Kong for so many years. Oh, neat. So do you think that, like, so the appetite for this kind of singing is... Is big. Yeah, yeah, they love her. They still oh, this do. is so neat. Yeah. Introducing Miriam. Sorry, who? Miriam. This is another. I don't know her, do singer. I? No, you don't know. No. I don't think you do. I don't think so. You might have seen her once okay. uh, in in some Chinese concert. Oh, so, okay. Yeah. It's my goal to come up through the floor one day, just so you both know. <laughs> Noted. <laughs> just, just know that. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> Although I think it would be stressful to come up through the floor and start singing that soon. Probably. Just like you shoot up, you hug, and you're in. <laughs> Woo. So this is more of that old school style as far as the vibrato goes and everything okay. seeming a little bit okay. more tucked in for me. But still pretty speechy. Mm -hmm. I just want to elaborate a little bit more when I'm saying speechy. We've seen singers... Some of the female singers we've seen will do like a sound or an effect or something, you know, to be kind of demure or kind of tucked in. I find both of these ladies, particularly Joey, but I find both of these ladies are just singing, nice. which is, you know, that's my vibe. Regardless of other people's preference, I can't help it but be drawn to, as, as both a singer myself and a vocal coach, that is what I, what I would coach someone into and that's what I prefer to do and that's what I prefer to listen to. Yeah. 
花落，明月正碎。但如果，但如果说下去，亦无非逼。It would stress me out to have to sing holding someone's hand as well. <laughs> Grip tight. No, it just it would it just seems like when you when you hold someone's hand or shake someone's hand, it for me would become awkward for more than like a hey, good to hey. This yeah. is very like should we let go? Should we keep holding? Oh my god, are people watching? It gets when, awkward because there's a lot it's of sweaty. <laughs> it is, it's like, right? Oh my god. It's uh, it's um there's a lot of male female duets and then they hold hands as they're singing too and they But you know, it's actually it looks very beautiful and connected, doesn't yeah. it? Like you're like, oh they're yeah. they're friends and yeah. that's so lovely. But in the moment I'd be like, should we keep holding? Is this yeah. are you gonna let go? Am I gonna let go? Is somebody oh, it would stress me out <laughs> Oh Joey's cute! She's just Give it her. Yep. Whose song is this, Joey's? Oh uh, no, this is Miriam's. Oh neat! <laughs> That's a pretty subdued note. Yeah. For like a big moment like that. Oh yeah. Uh, like that could be a loud and long. That should be like. Do, 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 do. Ah! Oh, I don't think that works with the lyrics. Oh, I don't know what the lyrics oh, are. Oh, okay. What do you yeah, think? Yeah, yeah. What I never, is it? I never looked at it from the lyrics point. What is it? What is it? Or. Rock that means if. Or. 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 Yeah. It's like a question. Or. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you don't want to get. Or. It's like weird, right? Maybe, if you don't want. Maybe. Yeah. Don't want to go too powerful on that. One. Disagree button. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> I would say it would be out of place for the rest of the song because neither singer is is doing too much belty aggressive stuff. Yeah. yeah. So for that, but I don't think that because the lyric says or you can't belt. You can belt on any. No, it's the, 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 the theme of the whole song, right? It's the lyrics. It's. The, I know, but you can belt mood. into sad. You can belt into happy. You can belt into angry. You can belt into grief. You can belt into anything. So I, I don't think the lyrics, the mood that they are choosing. It's a matter of taste. Yeah. Exactly. So. That's all I'm saying is you. It's it's not that like this topic or this word or something you can't belt. Mm -hmm. The the vibe of what they're presenting. Yes, yes it would be yeah. weird for someone to be like bah! Yeah, suddenly. Yeah, 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 yeah. But there's no rules on lyrics. Is all I'm saying. Okay. Oh, lovely! The nicest unison I ever did here. <laughs> if there's gotta be unison, this is lovely unison. Is that the or word? Do. Do. Do means right, Do. right or not, or right. correct. Yeah. Do. Yeah. So much vowels. Yeah. But I, it's probably. Do. 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 Yeah. Do. You say it really fast. So, so I have a question. Mm. Could you, would you, or could you ever sing, on the more open power to the vowel like, do. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, really. As long as you remember that end part. Yeah. The, <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, but that. is it also appropriate to? I've heard that too. Yeah. So there's neither right nor wrong. It's just totally a how fast whatever. you finish the yeah. sentence. Yeah. But if I had a long distance to hold and I still chose, die, still good. Yeah. Die, yes. still good. Yeah. Very interesting. Yeah. In English, we actually no no. In English, there's still the two options. Except one tends to feel more theatrical or classical, and the other tends to be more pop. And that is. In pop, we like to change the vowels when we change notes, for sure. But in this case, we're on one note. Mm -hmm. um, so it would be more Celine Dion. Well, we kind of like to hang out on the more open vowel. So mm -hmm. I feel like these ladies went to the tightest place in the vowel, which made me think that perhaps you had to as a rule of Cantonese, mm -hmm. or else it wouldn't be understood properly. Hold on, I'm just going to hear this last note. What is it again, the, the, the meaning? But that means correct or not. Like, mm. Is it right? So they go right to it. I think one of them went earlier than the other. So so it's really a taste thing. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, to yeah. me, I my sensibility is to stay on the the almost open part. Yeah. Duh. Oh, maybe that's too open. Duh. Yeah, 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 yeah. I would Slowly stay longer. Yeah, yeah. What a 
lovely performance. And it's live. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. So live. I don't know if it's the mood I'm in, but this really did it for me today. This was really nice to see, especially because. <laughs> Um, you know, when I think of, I feel like I've watched more uh, Mandarin singing than I have Cantonese. Some, I've seen, I've seen some, but what, when I think of Cantonese, I think of Eason. Yep. I think of um, Coco, uh, who I actually both, I, I both like, mm -hmm. but uh, I feel like this feels, I don't know, this feels very modern to me. Okay. So does he. Well, so does well. So does he. Actually, and actually, Coco was very speech level too. I'm not sure what it is or what mood I'm in or what it is about this that feels Depends fresh to me. Depends on what song Coco is singing. She, yes. She can yes. be really classical too. Mm -hmm. But when she does, when when I've seen it, yeah. it's very clear that it's a choice she made mm -hmm. and she wanted to really lean into the more. Yeah. To me, I'll call it the more traditional sounding or more. I don't know. More old school Canto. Yeah, 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 yeah. More old school. It's definitely a gear she could shift. And what about Eason? Do you think that he choose? Like, what, what? What? How do you think he chooses to move through things? He's definitely speechy. He's speechy. But his. He, um, Eason got his. Um, he studied uh, voice in uh, the UK, so he wasn't trained by like a vocal coach in Hong Kong. Hmm. He did all that schooling, and he graduated. In the West. With voice. Well, yeah. there's something about this yeah. today to me that simply seems fresh, and maybe it simply is that it's newer. It's just, it's just more joy. recent. Is this more recent? Mm, yeah, yeah. In the last few years, I would ah. say. Yeah. Je ne sais pas. I don't know. But pas. lovely. We'll Overrated or underrated vocal coach edition. Studying classical singing as a foundation for pop singing. Overrated! If you want to sing pop, study pop. Classical singing and pop singing are two different things. Would you take tuba lessons if you really just wanted to play the flute? I say no. Lip trills. <laughs> Neutral. I feel like it's some unwritten rule that lip trills have to be part of your practice, but I don't think they do. Meh. Drills and exercises. Overrated. Don't get me wrong. Drills and exercises can be super handy, but sometimes I see people lean on them. Kind of like when you go to the gym and you just get on the treadmill or the stair climber and zone out for 45 minutes. It's nice to not have to think, but you're not always doing the work. So if you're going to use them, really focus on what you're doing. Not just a million exercises for the sake of exercises. You know what I mean? Practicing every day. Highly underrated. You might be shocked what you could accomplish with steady repetition and a little obsession. Using social media like YouTube and the gram for vocal coaching tips. Highly underrated. Having a one-on-one -on -one vocal coach is great, but there is so much freaking awesome information online and it's free. This is not a plug for my content. There are so many awesome vocal coaches online. Use them. Determining whether a singer is good based on their riffs and runs. Overrated. We enjoy different singers for different reasons. And sometimes those reasons are inexplicable. Riffs and runs are one thing, but there's plenty of others. Taylor Swift and Sabrina Carpenter aren't doing a million riffs and runs and they seem to be doing okay, yeah? These are my takes. Let me know yours in the comments. Also, if you have any other topics you want me to weigh in on being over or underrated, write that down there too.